Hey, hello everyone. Uh, Marco here again, and we are back with another video for this Coin Miner C16 series. What we have here is a brand new unit. This is the uh, uh, C16 uh, 92 tear hash. Um, we're gonna unbox this, show you guys what it comes uh, out of the box from the factory, and we're gonna set up the the power network and we're gonna go through the computer and show you guys how to, to do the initial setup and start mining and so basically this is uh, this is the uh, SHA256 miner and it mines Bitcoin and any other token that uses same algorithm. Uh, here we go. So we have the power cord. This power cord is specific for this miner, as this this particular miner is rated at three thousand four hundred uh, watts per hour. So this particular cable is this is not a standard cable. So it's uh, as you can see here, guys. This is a very thick so uh, thick cable. So it can handle a lot of power. This this particular one here is rated at 16 amps, 250 volts. I don't know if you can, guys can see here. So this is the cable, the power cord, and we have the miner itself here. Okay, so the miner is packed really tight. Okay, enjoy and try to get it out of the box. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we have it. As I said earlier, this is a brand new unit. And we have another one here, uh, which is already unboxed, the C63. C16 Max, which has a computing power of 113 terahash per second. But basically, from the outside, they look both the same. The only difference is the the this one comes with uh, three hashing boards, and uh, the the Max comes with four hashing boards. That's the only difference. But from the outside, they look they look Pretty, 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 pretty the same. So pretty much the same. Okay, here we have it. And basically, we have from the the back side of the, the miner, we have the uh, power supply, which is uh, connected to the to the main frame. So we have the power plug here, the on off switch. We have three fans for the uh, for the power uh, power supply unit. We have two big fans for the for the cooling for the for, for the hash ports, and here we have the Ethernet cable. We have the SD card slot here, and we have the reset button here. Okay, and from the front side, basically we have nothing here. It's just as we can literally see the the hash ports the the hash port sinks here, the cooling. Coding things can be seen from, from the front side. Okay guys, so just to put the camera a little bit closer. I just want to show you the, the minor uh, up close. As we can see in the front here, we literally can see the hash boards. This is the 92 tail hash, so it comes with three hash boards and you can see the hit things here. The only the only noticeable difference here is the uh, middle hash board has a, a different design heatsink. I think that's to do with the uh, with the position of this uh, hash board because it's in the middle, so it needs a better airflow to for better cooling. That's why they, they, they it has a different a different heatsink design. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how to connect. Basically it's very simple like any other ASIC miner but for 
for for for for for the video we can uh, show you guys how to connect this so basically what you have to do first is okay before we do that i just want to show you we compare this unit this is the 92 terahash and we have i have another one here this is this is the 113 terahash this is the c16 max as you can see the size is identical the only difference is this miner, this C16 Max, has one extra hash board. This one has four hash boards, and this one has three hash boards. And I think, I guess the difference, because since the size is the same, the only difference I think is the, the height of the heatsink. This one has a shorter, uh, shorter uh, heatsink. Uh, as you can see here, this one is much higher. That's why they could fit four hash boards in the same vinyl, in the same size, I mean, same frame. Okay, so we put aside this one, and we're gonna go back to our 92 terahash unit. Here we have our power cable for the, so this is a brand new one, so I'm not gonna use it, but we have here our our own cable, so this is basically the same. This is the used one. What you have to do first is plug your power. Just make sure that the switch is on the off position. And what we need now is connect the miner to the internet. And we need the ethernet wire. This is the RJ45 uh, connector. Plug it in. And all you have to do now is turn on the miner and go through the initial setup from, from a computer, from a laptop or a desktop or wherever. For that, we just need a software, uh, any software that can scan your network's uh, IP address so we, we can find this uh, unit. And we're gonna go from there. We're gonna turn it on and let show you guys how how much noise is producing at the beginning because the miner is going to run a fan, a fan speed test at the start up so the fans will spin uh, to the maximum uh, duty cycle so it's going to make a little bit of noise Okay, the fence slow down and we're gonna go through the computer and show you guys how to do the initial setup. Okay, here we are on the, the laptop. The first thing we need to do is we need to find out uh, the miner's IP address. In order to access your miner, you need to you need a tool. Uh, in my case, I'm using the advanced IP scanner. This is a free a free tool that you can download from the official website. I already have the software installed on my computer, so what I'm gonna do is you need to scan your network and get your minus address so you can access the interface, the minus interface. Just bear in mind here that uh you need to set up your uh, IP address range. In my case, it's 51, so 192.168.51. That's the, the first address. So the software is gonna scan from one to 254. And if you don't know what's your uh, what's your uh, IP address range, all you, all you have to do is go to your network. Uh, in my case, I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'm going to check status and then get to details. I can see my IP address here. It's My computer is 144, but my gateway is 192.168.51. So that's your uh, first address 
your gateway. So usually the software after after the, the first installation is gonna the software itself is gonna pick up your uh, uh, your 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 IP address range. Then all you have to do is hit scan and wait for the software to start to scan your network and sometimes it, it takes a while uh, for in my case it's very fast as i don't have a lot of a lot of uh, devices connect to the to the network so i already got my address here as you can see it's called miner and this is the http page so my minor IP address is 192.168.50.21. I double click here and it's going to take me directly to the interface. Uh, in order to access the interface, you need uh, the username and the password. The default username is admin and the default password is uh, admin at minor. Just keep in mind that the admin, the first letter in admin and the first letter in minor, they are capital letters. So we hit login and we are at the uh, status page of the minor. As you can see right now, the minor is not working. So there's no, there's no hash rate, there's nothing. So what we have to do now is the first thing we need to do is you can go and ch change the password for your miner. So, in order to change the password, you go to system. Administration. And then the password. Change the password. Here you have to put your your desired password and you just hit save and apply. For, for, for me right now, I don't need to change it. So, this is the first step you have to do, change your uh, ASIC miner uh, password. And then the next thing, we have to go to miner. You have to set up your pool. So in order to set up your pool, you have to have a pool account. That's the first thing you need to have. And this is where you're going to put your pool address, where you're going to be mining. And as we mentioned before, this is... Uh, this is the SHA-256 algorithm miner, so you can mine anything that uh, runs on that algorithm. On our case, we're going to be mining Bitcoin. Uh, here I have my pool account here. This is pooling.me, so to get my mining address, uh, pool address, so I'm going to go to FAQ. And it's gonna be different for uh, every 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 pool, but basically, it's it's easy to to get it on on the pool. So just if you're not familiar with the with the pool, you just can go to help or your 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 uh, FAQ section. Here we have it. So there are th three different addresses. So I'm just gonna copy the first one. And I'm going to paste that on my pool zero. So that's my the first the first pool that the miner is going to use for for mining. That's the default one. And I'm going to use a different one just in case. But before that, I need my worker name. This is my worker name. That's my username on this uh, on this pool. We're going to paste that on the worker name section and then we have the password the password is set to one through three you can see here so basically that's all you need to start mining for for the second pool and third pool you can put a different pool so just in case if one pool goes down your your miner is going to switch to the next one so you're not good your miner is not going to be uh, stuck in one pool uh, if the pool uh, is, is, is done. Uh, for our test purposes, we're just going to use the first pool and we hit save and apply. And we wait for the miner, the configuration to be applied to the miner. Uh, should take a few seconds. 
and then we go back to status overview as you can see here the miner is up already so we start mining this is real time and this is the average hash rate so the miner already start kick, uh, start mining the, the current average hash rate is 89 sometimes it takes up to uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes for the miner to reach its maximum uh, hash rate and here we have the pool we are mining at the one I just set up and then we have the graph here the graph also needs uh, some time to show up uh, so basically this is all you have to do to get your miner start working so in the other hand we have the system log here which is very uh, very useful tool uh, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see information what's what's going on on your on your miner. Here we can see that the fan speed changed to 56%. So the fan zero and one, so the two fans are running at the same almost the same speed at 4,700 RPM. And the miner is doing some changes. Uh, the miner is going to adjust the fan speed depends on your uh, on your ambient temp temperature. And also, it's gonna change the hash, uh, the hash rate, the voltage, and everything depends on the difficulty in your, in the pool you are, you are mining at. So here you have it. This is the way to set up the initial setup for the for this uh, miner, which is very similar to all all other miners, uh, ASIC miners. So we're gonna let it run for. Uh, for 10 minutes and show you again the hash rate and uh, the graph as well because for now the graph is not showing up in this sometimes and also if you go back to to the to the pool uh, we should see the the miner on the pool uh, the hash real time hash rate uh, after after five to ten minutes that depends on the pool you're mining at okay so here we have uh, we have some hash rate here but the real time hash rate is going to start going up slowly because uh, there is a delay between your miner and uh, the pool itself, the depot account. Okay, we're going to give it 5 to 10 minutes and we'll be back uh, to show you uh, the, uh, the miner stats. Okay guys, we're back here after it's been already 30 minutes since the miner uh, was up and running and we start mining and we can see the average hash rate is up to 90 zero hash per second that's gonna take another 20 minutes for the miner to reach its maximum uh, hash rate which is 92 and if we scroll down a little bit you can see the graph also now it starts to show up we have the hash rate average hash rate graph here the blue line is the average hash rate and uh, the green line is the average 15 minutes hash rate it's gonna, gonna keep going up till it reaches the the blue line level and also here if we go to the pool account we can see the real-time hash rate it's coming up it's gonna take an, another Five to ten minutes to show the, the 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 real the real hash rate, but basically it's 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 up there. So okay, so here we have it. Uh, if you have any any questions regarding this particular miner, you can leave a comment in the comment section. And I will leave the because uh, I was asked a lot of times uh, regarding the password and the username. The default password and username for this for this miner. So I'm gonna leave the, the these on the in the uh, in the in the comment section. So if some if anyone need, needs it, and let me know if you have any other question regarding this miner or any other ASIC miner, and we're gonna we will try to do our best to. Uh, Answer your questions.